Good Sunday morning, everybody, live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee, down here in the lower left-hand corner of your screen. I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. This is our live video weather blog. We are now on Periscope and Twitter, and if everything's working, hopefully on the YouTube channel as well, but I'll have to double-check that. Thanks, everybody, for tuning in for early this morning, and if you are dropping by for an update on the forecast, we'll have that for you coming up here in just a little bit. Things pretty quiet for right now. Not much going on immediately. Temperature about 78 Eight degrees at this time. Temperatures back into around the area of the mid to upper 80s. Not quite record breaking, but it is going to be warm and it is going to be humid out there. Welcome to mid to late June in the mid south area. Temperatures for tonight with more chances of showers and thunderstorms in this bar right here and numbers back into the lower 70s as we get into the latest portion of tonight and into early tomorrow morning. Areas right back over here again that 80 percent you see that is the possibility of showers and thunderstorms into around the rest of the day. Today. Day. Best possibility will be late this afternoon into this evening, but we'll run down the timeline for you coming up here in just a little bit, so stay tuned for more of that. Questions, concerns, ideas about the forecast, drop them into the comments section if you're on Twitter and Periscope this morning and keeping an eye on the forecast here. We'll let you know more about that, but we'd love to see what location, so give us a weather forecast update from your spot and say hi to everybody as well. Temperatures right now, again, very much on the muggy side. A few skies poking through the clouds, but mainly over college in Memphis. Memphis for this morning from the weather under from the Ole Miss campus. A lot of cloud cover out and around the horizon, which you can see just barely behind our banner up here at the top from Crosby Hall looking down to the south around the area of the Student Union in the center portion of your screen where renovation and construct on the Ole Miss campus. Things fairly quiet for the scene, too much in the way of rain just yet. Likewise, pretty murky around Germantown, humidity, a little bit of haze out there, a little bit of sunshine coming on through. You can see the sunshine striking the buildings over toward 240 and Poplar and back toward Poplar and Mendenhall for this morning. Temperatures back into the mid to upper 70s already with around 90% humidity so it's a sultry morning out there. Rest of the morning temperatures rising heading upwards into the lower 80s by about mid to late morning and chances of showers and thunderstorms remain at about 20% or so. So where does that 80% come into the possibility? That's where we go into later on this afternoon and this evening way on down into around this afternoon around portions of the area that's where we start ramping up from 20 30 percent coverage to about 60 to 70 percent more widespread coverage for the entire area and that's where we're going to be looking at the potential for maybe some more severe weather it looks like mainly afternoon today but anytime throughout the late morning hours we could see again the potential for more showers and thunderstorms popping on through rest of the area let's go ahead and run the numbers for you yes we are still live the computer's got a little bit of lag time as it gets the uh, stuff going on so we are still still live here even though it's behind by just a bit. Heading into the early portions of this afternoon we see again the possibility of a few showers and thunderstorms off and on. Much of what we're looking at for right now is going to again be back to the north and to the west of us. That's going to be the main possibility of concern in those particular locations. Then as we get into noon that's where this next cluster of showers and thunderstorms starts to make its way into the metro area and the I-40 corridor by about lunchtime or so. Now the possibility of again getting everybody showers and thunderstorms not going to happen for everybody all at once it's going to be mainly from the northwest down to the southeast as we go throughout the rest of the day notice again right along i-40 and temperatures cool off by just a little bit back in the lower to mid 70s as we get into the course of the rest of the morning and into early portions of sunday afternoon happy father's day forgot to mention to all the dads out there rest of the day again that first wave clears on out heads away toward the tennessee river valley middle tennessee then we start seeing more showers and thunderstorms develop as we go toward News Channel 3 at 5 and into 60 minutes at 6. Rest of the evening we'll see more chances of showers and thunderstorms scattered around much of the area. That also will develop and move out of the picture so that by tomorrow morning, around the time that Todd Demers is on the air for daybreak, this is where we also see again the potential for more showers and thunderstorms redeveloping on Monday morning. Some of those could be close to the metro area, but it looks like most of that should be south of I-4 and just well away from us and moving away from us as we get into the rest of tomorrow morning. By tomorrow afternoon, most of the rainfall, if not all of it, should be gone. So, <clears throat> excuse me, as we get into the rest of Monday afternoon, things are quiet, relatively dry, 
and still just as warm out there with temperatures back into the mid to upper 80s or so and staying in the upper 60s to upper 70s by the time we hit News Channel 3 at 10. Jim Jaggers has your complete forecast Monday night, so stay tuned for that. Currently, we're seeing again the threat of severe weather at a slight level. What does that mean? It means it's not as high as what we could see for a major severe weather outbreak, but here's the important thing. This yellow category that you see here from Little Rock through the Mid-South all the way to Nashville up to Paducah, this means that the potential for severe weather is with us for today, and you need to be paying attention to that. If you have outdoor plans, be ready to move back in again. Have a way of getting updates with the forecast, whether it's on your tablet, your smartphone. Uh, have a weather radio with you ready to go just in case. Most importantly, keep tuned to News Channel 3, and we'll keep you advised as to what's going on. But this threat here means the potential is going to be with us throughout the rest of the day. Main threats are going to be large hail and damaging winds and maybe the possibility of an isolated tornado, but it's going to be damaging winds that's going to be the main threat. Threat for tomorrow moves out of the picture and by Tuesday it's back to sunshine and warm conditions, so little if anything to worry about there. Rest of the forecast through the rest of the day today. Again, chances of showers and thunderstorms, greatest afternoon and evening possibility of a few leftover showers and thunderstorms into tomorrow morning and then dwindling. Sunny skies, the last full day of spring will be Tuesday. First full day of summer will be Wednesday. Will you put the marker on Wednesday at this time? Summer officially begins late, late Tuesday evening. So we just said the first full day of summer will be coming up on Wednesday and that seems to work a little bit better. Temperatures back in the upper 80s to lower 90s for highs, mid to upper 70s for lows and not going to be changing anytime soon as we get into the rest of the forecast. So it looks like a pretty stagnant pattern shaping up. Hopefully you've got your ice cubes, your bottles of water ready to go, and your air conditioning system is geared up because we are going to be needing it as we go into the next couple of days. We're monitoring an area right off the Yucatan Peninsula. It's not an immediate situational threat, but once again, it is something that needs to be paid attention to. If you're going to be traveling anywhere in the area from, say, Brownsville, Texas, all the way over to Miami, you need to watch this particular area right here. This is an area of investigation. If it wanders out into the Gulf of Mexico, it is going to be a potential threat as a storm coming up as a tropical storm relatively soon. The other storm system is out along the northeast coast of South America. This one is is expected over the next several days to wander into the Caribbean possibly by this time next weekend could be in the Gulf of Mexico this particular storm system here just over the Yucatan Peninsula is going to be again making its way up and into portions of the Gulf where the water is decently warm there's a lot of shear out there winds at different levels which could help to tear this thing apart right now it seems like this system is going to be trying to make its way back to the north and to the west eventually but this then this approaching storm system up in this direction is going to sweep it off possibly to around Florida, the Florida Panhandle, and the Gulf Coast states. So the main threat is going to be again from gusty winds, lots of wind, and also again the possibility of rainfall out there. But here's the thing, the computer models for this storm are not in good agreement. They have it going anywhere between Brownsville and Miami. So you have to watch News Channel 3, stay up to date with what's going on with this particular storm system, and we'll keep you up to date on that. Grab our weather app, whatever platform you've got, search WREG weather, and find out more about what's going on in the Mid-South area. Keep up to date with weather through the News Channel 3 Severe Weather Center. Don't forget about my forecast throughout the rest of the weekend on Country 92.5, Oldies 102.3, and you can find me on any of these social media networks out there, and you can find out more about what's going on with the weather from the News Channel 3 Weather Center. i got to hop back out on set. We're just about ready to wrap up News Channel 3 Daybreak, and I'll have more information about the forecast and the updated severe weather forecast from the Storm Prediction Center, which should be coming out momentarily. Rest of the day, keep it tuned to News Channel 3 for more as to what's going on with these storms as they move into the area. We'll be watching throughout the rest of the weekend so you can stay safe with Dad heading out to do whatever it is you're doing for Father's Day. And again, a very happy Father's Day to everybody out there. Live and direct from downtown Memphis, Tennessee, I'm meteorologist Austin Onik. Thanks for joining me for today's Sunday morning edition update of our exclusive video weather blog, Weather Overtime. And keep it tuned to News Channel 3 throughout the rest of the day for severe weather updates.